will ask some questions for you. I will go first. My question is about your impression of Taiwan. My first question is, what food and attractions do you like? I really like almost all of the food in Taiwan. Some of my favorite foods are the fruit, and I really like to eat lu rou fan. And some of the attractions, I would say, I really love to go to the islands outside of Taiwan, like Orchid Island or Penghu. They're very beautiful. What are the differences between Taiwan and the U.S.? Uh, the biggest difference between Taiwan and the USA is the size. Uh, the USA is very big, Taiwan is pretty small. So in the USA, I was very accustomed to having to drive for four or five hours to a different city. But in Taiwan, with uh, the trains, the HSR, the subways, the buses, it's very easy to get around Taiwan for traveling. Why did you choose Taiwan for English teaching? That's um, not an easy question. Okay, so when I was in university, I, I was studying um, how to make movies. And I traveled to India to, to make a movie, and I fell in love with traveling. So when I graduated, I applied to teach in many different places. Uh, one was to teach for the Peace Corps in Africa. One was to teach for the Department of Defense. And one was to teach in China. And while I was applying, I read um, a blog from a teacher in Taiwan that said, you should come teach here. So I applied um, to the Ministry of Education. And within two months of applying, I was on a plane to Pingdong. And I fell in love with Taiwan. And so I stayed. Thank you. Hi, I'm Emma. Here are some questions about your teaching experience. First, why do you want to be an English teacher? Um, at, at first, I was not an English teacher. I was a history teacher um, at a high school. But my hometown is very close to Mexico. And so most of my, sp my students did not speak English. They spoke Spanish. So I had to learn how to teach students who did not speak English. And so it just lends itself very well to teaching overseas, teaching English primarily. Um, so I made that, that choice, and I think it was a good choice. Second, have you taught in other country besides Taiwan? I have only taught so far in the United States and in Taiwan. Do you have plan to teach in other country in the future? I always dreamed of going back to work in India as a teacher, um, and also I've always have really wanted to teach in Japan. Um, but so far, I think Taiwan is the best place. Thank you for your answer. You're welcome, Emma. Hi, Ben. I'm Dora. I want to ask you some questions about teaching in Lujiang. My first question is, do you have any interesting experience in Lujiang? Uh, yes. I think as teachers, we have interesting experiences working with kids everywhere. But my most recent experience that kind of was shocking to me is we, we have a reading club now at school. And I had one student, I gave them a Harry Potter book to read for their first book. And one week later, she comes back to me. She said, Teacher Ben, I'm finished. I said, that book was 800 pages. What do you mean you're finished? I said, yeah, I read it in one week. So I was like, I was, yeah, I was very surprised, shocked, but in a good way. Second, what do you think about a student in Lujiang? Most of the time when people ask me this question, they ask me, like, are students in Taiwan better than students in the USA? And I say that students, kids are kids pretty much everywhere. But there's one big difference here at this school in that the students here, I think, are hungry to learn and they are ready for us as teachers to push them to, to, 
to make this year special, to make it important. And so you can really feel that in the classes, um, that the students here are motivated and they're ready to work hard, which is wonderful as a teacher to experience. Why did you choose to teach in Lujiang instead of going to other schools? Uh, the biggest reason is uh, last year I started uh, a new teaching practice um, called story listening, which I learned from a professor in Japan. And I really like drawing and, and, and sharing my stories in class. I think it's a really good way to learn English. And so I met with um, um, the director, Verona, and our principal and asked if I would be able to continue doing this practice with the students here. And they thought it was a good idea. And so that's why I, I chose this school. The last question is, what's your suggestion about learning English? Well, like I said, um, I think we have three students here from my reading club. Um, research has proven that reading, an independent free voluntary reading is the best way for you to improve your English or any language. So I would encourage you and all the students here at the school to take advantage of all the great books that we have and read every day. Thank you for your answering. Thank you, Dora. Hi, I'm Stephanie. I want to ask you some questions about how do you get used to life in Taiwan. First, do you get homesick in Taiwan? Yes, um, most foreigners in Taiwan get homesick around Thanksgiving to Christmas because those are times that we spend with our family. This year I got lucky because my mom was here. Um, but most of the time you try to find friends and other people to spend that time with so you don't feel so lonely. Second, you have taught in many counties. Which place is your favorite and why? Yes, this is the fifth county I have taught in, in Taiwan, and I have to say my favorite so far has been in Pingdong in the south, um, maybe because that was the first place that I taught, but I really loved uh, being deep in the mountains um, where there's lots of um, aboriginal culture, lots of pineapple farms. It was just a really beautiful place. What do you like about Taiwan and what you don't like about Taiwan? I think um, most people that come to Taiwan to either live, work, or travel here, the first thing they say is the people. The people in Taiwan are very friendly, very helpful. Um, and, and that's a big reason. That's a, it's a, it, it, it makes you feel welcome and it makes you feel safe. Um, something I don't like about Taiwan is uh, driving can be a little scary sometimes. What's the most difficult part to adjust in Taiwan? The most difficult thing would be um, the language barrier can be kind of a, quite a big culture shock for people. Like me, I came here, I didn't speak any Chinese and I was hungry, right? And I wanted to eat, but I was so scared to try to talk Chinese. And so I would just go eat at 7-Eleven every day for like two or three weeks. And I would look around and there'd be so much like delicious food everywhere. And I would just go eat at 7-Eleven. Made me very sad. So I, I, I got up the nerve, I got my Chinese English dictionary and I looked for one word, Sajito green bean and I walked around my whole town asking people I would just go Sajita Sajita and until uh, finally I, I never found any but the, the, I lived with the family and she heard from her neighbors that I was walking around asking people Sajita and so she she went to the store and bought me some green beans so that I could cook for everybody but that started me on the path. Because um, really, to learn language, you have to stop being scared of talking and just try. And that, that was um, the point where I started being comfortable with speaking. That's interesting. Thank you.